we stopped here, right? Earlier, we created a requisition. Then after that, we have our proofs. Correct. <coughs> Oh, I no need to revise all this prerequisites, correct? So we have completed here requisition followed by approval. So let me show you 16538 is the requisition number. You go to application. This is a continuation of internal sales order, okay? So requisitions and summary. So here is the place you can take your number, which already created. Then click on find. You can see here who has approved, who has submitted this information. So then after that, uh, there are a couple of other steps here. We need to create a sales order automatically. For that, there is a program. We already submitted yesterday, right? That is create internal orders. It's not saved yesterday. After submitting it, we have moved all the data from POREQ to, there are some tables like OEM interface tables. Do you remember the interface table names? Yesterday OE we... headers, I face all. OE headers, I face all, interface all it is. Hmm. The other one is OE lines, I face. This is where we stopped yesterday, exactly. OE lines, I face all. So the join between uh, your PO table, PO request headers all, and OE headers I face. If you don't know the joins, you will not be able to retrieve the data. Your main points are here is tables and primary keys, joins only you need to learn, okay? Backend. Don't say backend is too difficult, it's easy only. Only thing is table names, giant names. There is no other way we have to remember. You requisition. Let us all where requisition number always stored into segment one. And this is the number here. Header ID is a giant condition between these two tables. OE headers, I face on where there is a source document column name is there, source document reference, ORIZ, origin, sysdoc re reference it is. This is where, just double click on this. This is the column name. Origin system document reference. So that is equivalent to request header ID. So this is the data. Okay. Now, in continuation to this, yesterday we stopped here at this particular point in the last class, class number six. Now, class number seven it is. Okay. So once we have a data in this particular tables, 
we need to run a program that's an order import order import these are all given by oracle already okay by using this we can create a sales order automatically in normal o2c we have entered sales order even in drop shipment also we have entered sales order manually but in this case your order import concurrent program is going to create a sales order so let's submit a program we either you can use this or else you can directly go to order management order returns and then you can see your import orders order import request this is the navigation here click on this then operating unit name is you are working on vision operations order source so we have defined a source already if you look at setups <coughs> what is a source there's a source okay order source we already defined this one source value is here internal so that source we have to enter here order reference on which requisition number we are going to create a sales order requisition number is your number only this one 16538 take this okay submit another request no then go to here check the status of your concurrent program this program it's we have submitted internally it will fetch the data from your interface tables okay the purpose of order import is here is om interface tables to base tables om base tables everyone knows correct that is oer data sol oer data line sol it is now click on this completed you just click on view output here to see the status of your order you can check any errors here okay there are no errors i'll read whenever you get a time so once uh, order is created you can get it through order organizer here see order returns and order organizer last time we went order return sales orders right but now it is order organizer click on this order organizer requisition number we have to give here this is a requisition number what i am going to do here is your sales order is already created we are identifying based on the requisition number here we can't find then yes go to open here is a place customer do you remember like uh, in the somewhere we took right here internal customer this one right internal customer we took as a vision here see it has taken automatically vision then go to line items what could be the status once it is booked o to see second step awaiting shipping right if you just check here do you see awaiting shipping okay and from where it is picked up all the from which warehouse we are booking here that is m1 okay and how much availability is there in m2 we have 500 quantity so we have enough stock available see order i have not created i have not booked your system only taken care in how many ways we can create a sales order one is manual other one is this automatic program there is api is also available that we'll discuss later so order entry is over booking is over next you know very well right pick release followed by shipping okay pick release and shipping 
at a time we can do do you remember that option name auto ship auto ship option is there so where to go shipping release sales order release sales orders then based on only there is standard order number warehouse right now where is the stock available is m2 only okay this is where we do a mistake usually by default it is populated m1 right but it's not correct so we have to change it to m2 here click on m2 then shipping these are all common okay auto ship already selected uh, because of this auto ship only two steps will be taken care automatically one is pick release followed by the shipping execute now you may get some warnings ignore it and if you see all the concurrent programs here these are all related to picking uh, pick slip as well as shipping related uh, anyway it will be submitted automatically okay you know this this is very very important interface to stop so what will happen here is it will direct the actual quantity here we discussed already last time correct now what could be the status of your sales order now after shipping obviously ship yeah. check the status of it here and because of the interface trip stop it will be updated here there is a shipped quantity quantity shipped okay quantity shipped column here and any uh, any other dates what is this this one 16538 requisition number yeah that's what i mentioned somewhere right here is origs is document mm -hmm. that's a here it is requisition number it is okay this this are also schedule ship date schedule arrival date this are also will come automatically okay now if you go here through shipping what we have done we shipped the goods to which warehouse if you go to the definition here from m2 we picked up pick release from m2 only we have shipped to where m1 correct now in m1 what you have to do we have to acknowledge saying that we received simply that is the last step here okay now the last step in this flow is here received it is not a account receivable receipt remember it is a po receipt it is po module receipt po module receipt navigation you can go to purchasing it is a place uh, receiving and receipts you can exactly where you have received here in which warehouse we received we have received here m1 so m1 only we have to see m1 will come at the end rest all the places m2 only uh, go here uh, while selecting simply you should not select cd d1 d2 people are selecting randomly okay you should not select like that what, what is the warehouse i need to select here m1 and give a requisition number so this is a sales order number right select the check box and header save here that's it okay now this information is stored into tables here rcv shipment headers these are all receiving tables and obviously lines and transaction these are all the three tables behind this so simply you have to go to help record is yeah, nothing else if you want to know any table you can go to record is okay 
So this is the way you can close the internal sales order. Now, next flow here is back to back order. I'm just ending the session and I'll restart it, okay? Or I'll pause the record and I'll re-record again for the next flow. I'm ending the meeting, guys. Please resign again.